I have a little bit of a panther bug right now. Just from the small taste I had with that air zats. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, no. This is the um, M10 GMC. That that was a really bad, if you want to call it a joke, then thank you. Uh, but it still stands. I, I have a panther bug. And in today's video, I wanted to show you what the top tier panther looks like, plays like, and is it really worth your time? Is it the best bang for your buck? And just to cut to the chase, I say no. Because the problem with the 7.0 Panther, it isn't a bad tank. It just versus uh, vehicles where it's not as lethal as it is at low tier. For example, we can take a 5.7 Panther D, even though its turret rotation is utter garbage. But everything it looks at, well, granted, there are jumbos and other vehicles. Everything it looks at, for the most part, can be penetrated by the 75 millimeter long. This has, what, 182 millimeters of penetration? 187 millimeters of penetration. So not only can you pen anything, you can pen many things at long range. Now, we'll go to the 7.0 Panther II with a KWK-43, which is the long barrel 88 millimeter on the Tiger P and the Tiger H. I know Tiger H for sure. Let's just double check on the P variant. Uh, customization and confirmed. So just to take a look at the Panther II's gun or ammunition, it's the same exact ammunition that is in the 6.7 Tiger. So what you're pretty much paying for or why it has the 7.0 BR is its mobility. And that, I would take that trade. I'm like, wow, this thing is much faster, has better mobility, has, has better reverse speed than a Tiger. I will take that. But compared to the things that it verse, it, um, doesn't really matter too much. And this kind of goes back to my original point. Compared to the lower tier Panthers, these 7.0 Panther twos are gonna have to aim perfectly to get a penetrating shot at long range, maybe even close range. Um, here is a T-54. We cannot go through his upper plate. We cannot go through his lower plate. We can go through his cupolas. We maybe will go through these. Now, what I want to test though is our is our APCR. With APCR, I have no worry in my mind that we'll be able to go through the mantlet or just the turret of the T-54 if it penetrates or if it gets a good notch into the enemy's armor. What I'm scared is with the APCR, if we hit a little bit of an angle somewhere and the APCR bounces, the APCR should bounce off the upper and lower just because APCR does not like slopes whatsoever. We're just gonna test it out and then hop into the battle. Now, just to be clear, I'm not really too concerned about these Russian tanks up close and personal because with this um, ballistic cap or just this filler round, we'll load it right now, it is quite easy to aim for their weak spot, weak spots. Now at further ranges, then it becomes very, very difficult. And unfortunately, compared to our tank and theirs, we can be penetrated by their rounds via lower glacis and the manlet. We only have one shot chance, and that is mantlet shots from long range. I, I'm not even going to reveal my position to shoot these things long range. It's going to be such a hard shot. But just for example, we cannot go through the upper plate of the IS-6 whatsoever. Now, apparently they fixed the turret on the IS-6. Let's check it out here. We're going to shoot right between the two. All right, good. Very good. Very good. Good. Now, what I would have done, IRL, because we had a cannon breach knockout, I would have moved over to the other side, try to take out that crew member. Now, these guys are pretty easy to take out close range. Again, can't go for the upper. Can't go for the lower. We could try to trap shot. I don't really recommend it on these T-54s and 64s. They have a very small trap ability, but it might be possible. There we go. Well, that one just went right through the the whole gun itself. Let's try it again on this other 62. It might be a valid strategy on um, this this version. Shoot right here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's got to be very, you got to get very, very lucky. Now, these are T-55s. We won't be versing them, and they're really freaking challenging to get through. Like, right here, we got to get. <laughs> and really, no explosive mass goes in there. Uh, but there's another option. Let's just try right here. Yeah, it gets sucked into a black hole. We'll shoot at the original position. There we go. But a, uh, I, th I think a better option is just to shoot Coppola. Let's shoot right one. Good. See, gunner's out. Good. We can shoot again. Maybe get the ammo on the left side. Good. That's the kind of strategy we're going to use today. Now, but on the regular T-54s and uh, 62s that we will face, uh, we can shoot Mantlet close range no problem. Just pretty challenging. So without further ado, let's get started. If you guys want me to do more of those, of those, of these kind of intros where I show you like how we're going to engage enemies, let me know in the comments below. Got a T-32 way over there. I don't know if I'll be able to get a shot on him. He just shot somebody. No, he's dead. What the fuck? Attention to the designated grid zone. Wait, wait, wait. Someone just... Wait, 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 wait. Why is it reading this way? So that came from the backside? I am so confused right now. Okay, we're going to push up. I mean, we're pretty much... Oh, there it is. That's too obvious. He's got hash loaded, I think. He, and he's got a stabilizer at a lower BR than me. God help me. Hey, 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 hey! He gave me a little bit of an angle. I got an 88 millimeter. What am I supposed to do? Not shoot him? Okay, that threat's gone. We got an IS for him. Oh my god, we got this guy way over here still alive. Need to take him out before we move in and do really anything else. But do you think he's gone? We're on the move. Let's call it out to our team. Never mind, that side is completely dead. There you guys go. There's about two guys over here, I think. We got a slow old reload. We're packing a little bit of a, um, we're packing a little bit of armor with this Panther too. We just got struck twice by, I don't know what they're shooting, but they're not, they're not getting through after that first shot. Okay, I'm gonna sit here now. We have finally, oh Jesus. That is a big dog T-32, I think. He just shot, Let's see if we can't get through. We're gonna wait for him to shoot one more time, then we're gonna push him. I think that should go through, right? That should go through. He's not budging. That definitely should go through. We're pushing. We got so we got a nice hill here. You might try to focus me first. Here he goes. Good bounce. Good performance, Panther. Well done. Well done right there. That T32 scares the crap out of me, man. Those things are so strong. Heads up. Okay, so let's push to the next. Oh, I'm gonna push this deflate over here. And then we'll try to chill out for a little bit. Oh! We're popping smoke. We we're getting behind this hill.
That guy is just camping his spawn, which is a fine thing to do, but d definitely caught us off guard. A little bit of safety. Now we can kind of engage him better. We can spot him. Let's call it out to our teammates. Attention to the designated grid zone. What was that? Centurion Mark 1? Ah, don't look at me. Don't look at me. There you go. I got to... Oh, Descent 10. I don't know why our rear is not secured. He's... Oh, my gosh. Okay, over there we got a, I think a British tank. We're gonna go investigate. Ooh, a chariot tier just killed that T-44. And I can hear him firing. I think this is him to the right. Got him in sight. Good job, Panther. That freaking 88 millimeter round is a ball. Oh. Tank left, tank left. I think he might see me. He just shot, which will give us a lot of time. Awesome. Okay, now, Jesus. I'm gonna miss. Oh, yes. Woo. Beautiful. Clean. I think the middle of our AO is safe. We're getting a lot of new respawns up in the mix of things right now. We're going to chill out for a second time because the first time we were trying to chill out, it was impossible because of that darn Centurion Mark 10. Just relax for a little bit. area was not secured there was enemies behind us to the right to the left i'm surprised that m46 was able to spot us like that not to worry we're in another oh i read you like a book read you like a book partner can i get out of my spawn without getting bombed we're heading to alpha right now they're starting to capture it they are starting to capture but we are capping the crap out of bravo Check it on the ticker. Okay, we're, we're going to get a downhill maneuver here so we're faster. Good. We'll get set on fire, I think. Nope, okay. Survive that guy. Oh, man. So we call artillery on alpha. We're just out of range. Two seconds on the track repair. I'm moving, I'm moving. Save those shots. Tank spotted. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. So, um, we're back at Alpha. We are I'm gonna try to capture Alpha. What is this? Okay. No enemy tanks. I want to get Alpha back on our side. It's still being decap. Okay, no. It is going to our favorite, the T44122. It's in there, nice and secured. Hopefully, no bombers pushing here. Ooh. 
I don't really know what to do right now. We got a British tank over there. And um, these this medium tank and heavy tank should be able to see my spots on them. And we got multiple incoming. And they have a good spotter plane up. I'm going to take this guy down. No, he's doing high arcs on me. Tank spot it. Oh, that was that APCR? Fuck. Nice, T44. Thanks for the help. Got a T T29 or something. I alerted the, the T44 22. We're gonna try to get into some hard cover here. I see him. Oh my god, nice work, nice work, T-44. This jet has to be running out of ammunition soon. There, there's no doubt about that. Nope, he still, he still has ammunition. He's shooting about 40 rounds per run, I think. So maybe soon, soon. Yes, it is annoying, but at the same time, he's doing exactly what I would do in his situation. We just had a shot ring out uh, right to left. Engage one of our tanks. Okay, guys. P80 is going home. P80 is going home. Ah, it's so nice now. It is really nice not having that guy over me. Okay, come on. I'm going to I'm going to be Overwatch for the T44. Out of sight. Oh, we 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 just missed that though. Don't shoot me. I'm a good boy. All right, 44. I would like this kill. Okay, good. We're going to move. I'm going to move more up to my original position before I got engaged by that Centurion uh, Mark 10. Way, way earlier in the game. This would just give me a good insight to who's incoming and who's going to Bravo. Tank spot it. Fuck. Attention to the map. The light forces have captured a zone. We're going to try to push around to the rear. Go, Panther, go. We can't get spotted here. <sighs> he read me like a book. Ah, oh, God. What the fuck? He actually went through. That's kind of scary. So another plus to uh, this uh, Panther too is that we have should be like around 40 mils for the top, 30 millimeters for the top armor. So those 50 cals won't be able to get you. Last games are the games that I love in War Thunder. The games that are dragged out, it's neck and neck, battle of attrition, of attrition. And unfortunately we were on the losing end, but I will take a loss like that compared to a steamroll win any day. Now, a whole different atmosphere. Welcome to Abandoned Factory. Remember that Hellcat video with the P61? We're gonna play, hopefully, over here. It's gonna be hard to get there, but if we do, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Here 
Get her safe for a little bit. Very, very good early game spot. Got a M22. Something might have tried to shoot me on my right side. Yikes. That was scary. Okay, I think that that has to be like a T29 or something. There's the M22. There's a big dog. He's like, fuck. And this strategy right here only works if our backside is held up. And I think it is. And this is turning into a romful stomp. We're going to let the heavy armor go first. M103. Wow. I don't know how I missed him. We should be poking out over on this direction. I fucked up right there. I got I got a teammate killed. Couldn't lay my gun fast enough to where I wanted to shoot it. What is this? Ooh, ooh. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Got hit hard. Three crew members down. I'm gonna call it this direction. Nice, Tiger 2! Thanks for the support right there. Is that an IS-6? That's what I was kind of focusing on before I got shot. It's a dead IS-6. Let's take cover in these ruins. Ruins. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, good spot. Good spot. 262. Enemy tank in front. Middle ground. Just to the right of Alpha. We've captured most of the strategic zones. Is it that Centurion again? God, he moves quick. Get ready, get ready, get ready. T-54. We're going to overextend for the shot. Getting covered. I'm going to play over here. Get my right covered in case any enemies want to push up the middle to have to pass through me. And we'll be able to see players over on this direction. Ooh, speaking of that. Got a uh, anti-air. Kind of obvious. He should see me. Oh, never mind. That was funny. That was funny right there. <laughs> Alright, that was a little bit more challenging than I thought. Uh, okay, we got a spot over here. 
But uh, M42 destroyed, or is that M19? Yeah, M19 destroyed. Whoa. Oh, fuck, don't see me. He's gonna reload before me, I think. Now he can't shoot anymore. We're gonna see if we can go for a flank. Oh no, he's he's compromised, I think. And that M56 Scorpion is dead as well. <laughs> These are some really fun games today. I'll tell you that. The spawn camping has begun. Wow. I absolutely love this thing. I really, really do. It seems like it would be worse at 7.0, but it's maneuverability. This gun packs a punch, so if you know where to shoot, and if, and if you're crafty on your strategy, uh, this tank works out really, really well. Uh, last game, I think we were top tier, or maybe it was like 7.3 was top BR. This game, we were um, up tier to 7.7. .7. So, um, it can handle itself really, really well. And I and I thought this tank uh, was going to be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but for the second game of today, it's been wonderful. Highly recommend the Panther 2. Guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video. What's up, 262? Have a great day. Peace out.